Think $500 billion is a lot in sales? Hi, this is Roger Grow at Grow Asset Management. That's what the top 20 pharmaceutical companies sell globally in terms of drugs to you and me when we're not feeling so good. One thing's for sure, when we're sick, we want to get well, and we will probably spend our last dollars trying to promote our own health. The history of the drug business? Well, dates way back to when. I suppose that ever since the beginning, we've always wanted to feel better when we felt bad. In more recent history, it's been dominated by the regulatory bodies and the countries in which that drug is being sold. Typically, key items that companies look at, long-term patent protection, long-term liability, and the cost to develop a drug. It can easily cost a billion dollars or more to develop a drug. In a large company, not all drugs are going to be profitable. Maybe one in five or one in 10. So the profitability of that one has to cover the expense of all of the rest. Certainly the types of drugs being sold today are much different from even 10 years ago. Targeting specific areas of your body which need to be repaired, modern drugs have much higher price tags but, be, but may be much more efficient. Imagine regrowing a liver or regrowing a thumb. Imagine instead of having open heart surgery, having a drug repair your heart automatically. That's the future and it's today. I'm Roger Grow with Grow Asset Management. Thank you very much for spending time with me.